You want to hit the ball further, of course you do. But the thing is, it cannot be forced. It cannot take a lot of effort. And the three steps I'm going to give you today are almost frustratingly simple, but they work every single time. Step one is the setup. It may not be sexy, but it is crucial. And this is what you want to do. When we want to launch the driver a little bit further, it's exactly that. We want to be hitting it on the upswing, okay? We do not want to be striking down. That's going to put too much excessive spin on the ball. Most of you will be way too straight up and down, static as it were, when you're addressing the driver. And you just have to look at the angles of my shoulders, the hips, and even the sort of elbows here but the angles are all sort of pointing down a little bit this way, which is fine for an iron, but a driver, we do not want that descending blow. We want to be hitting up on it. Make sure your ball is in line, a bit more in your left heel, or your lead foot rather, okay? Now, as we put our feet together, what we're going to do is put our trail foot back. We're planting the foot back this way. And just that alone is going to already adjust the angles of our body. So you can see, I'm already encouraging my swing to be a little bit more on the upswing. Put your hands on your thighs, the body here. And what you're gonna do is slide your trail hand down towards the knee, all right? I'm not really doing anything else apart from letting that slide down and going with it. And that is giving me a bit of more tilt here again so I can launch it back and hit it on the upswing but it's also going to really help us with step two which is about getting some width on the backswing don't get me wrong there are many ways that could help you hit the ball further but these three steps you've seen the first one and the next two a bit more fun are going to make such a difference to you and they come from the Art of Simple Golf Online Club, and you can check that out below. Step two is all about the backswing, okay? But I am not asking you to make a big turn, okay? That's what most people are trying to get golfers to do. But physically, it's a difficult thing to manage. It's a big movement to try and time and sequence. You don't believe me? Go and check out my video that is Don't Turn the Shoulders. The only goal I want you to feel, okay, is this trail shoulder is going to go up that way about four or five inches. That's your only goal. And what that is going to do is give you a bit of width, give you plenty of wind up feel, because that's what we want to do is sort of wind up the swing. That's what's going to give us the penetration in the flight. That's what's going to give us the time to hit good shots. So there's our target. We want to try and feel that this trail shoulder gets pulled back that way and we're face, our back is a little bit more to the target. I haven't tried to turn my shoulders. I'm just moving this trail shoulder back that way. And I'm you know, consciously trying to keep the trail arm a little bit straighter so my left arm has to reach. It's almost like a little stretching feel, but that's going to load everything up. It's going to give you all the time in the world to get those massive drives. One more step to go. Let me know if this is resonating with you. Are you seeing some of the faults and that key feel? Have you tried it? Let me know below. What should you do next? Too many golfers focus so hard when trying to hit it further, they try and hit it harder, they try and hit at the ball. But by doing that, it actually kills distances, right? Because we want it to have an effortless feeling and it has to be about swinging through, okay? And we can do it to notice where your speed is. Technically, I don't need to think about where the fastest part of the swing is or should be. I want you to feel that the acceleration is happening just after 
impact down here. That is your goal and objective. So as we swing down and through, this is the fast point. That is where I want you to try and accelerate the most. And you can test this out by flipping the club over, making some swings here, and no notice where are you releasing that speed. We want those arms to lengthen and straighten out. But by flipping the club over, you can hear the sound. So have a little practice with that, but just with the intent of swinging through and accelerating here is gonna make all the difference. And this is what it looks like from my point of view. And the acceleration is here as we swing through that way, okay? We don't wanna be accelerating here and dumping into the ground. That is not the fast area, it's through. Everything is about through. Now we piece the three steps together. Step one, set up. Make sure it's opposite the left heel. We've got our tilts. We are ready to launch. Part two, step two, trail shoulder moving up that way, keeping a little bit firmer here. Then we focus on the speed release there. That's the fast part of the swing. Now we put it into action. Choose your target, always choose your target, my friends. Be as specific as you can. It's crucial. You gotta tell your brain what you are trying to do. So step one, set up, ready to launch. Step two, and swing. A Little bit off balance, but that went straight. It went far and I'm happy with it. Let me know if you got any questions. Now, if you really wanna simplify the swing, watch this video here for three steps for perhaps the easiest way to swing a golf club. See you next time.